Welcome back to the episode of Bass Bros, and today, guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to clean sand substrate. It's pretty difficult at first, but I watched plenty of YouTube videos, so I think I've got it down now. So I think I will be able to teach you guys. And also later in the video, I'm going to be going to PetSmart and getting some new fish since... This one pleco I have is like being very aggressive towards the, the Cory catfish at the bottom of my tank and one of them actually died so now I only have one Cory catfish and a schooling fish so I'm going to get rid of the pleco and get two more Cory catfish for him so we can just have the same species at the bottom of the tank so we won't have any more problems. So let's just get right into it. Well first up obviously you have to get all the decorations out of the tank so you have just the sand in the bottom. Now that you have all your decorations out of the tank, time to grab your siphon. So yeah, you just have to like gently brush the top layer of the sand here, and then you'll scoop up all the debris and stuff and poop as you can see here. So that's really all there is to it. You don't have to do much more. It's kind of tedious and annoying at some times because you won't be able to get it all, but you know, you can just do the best that you can and that's good enough. But also debris will get stuck under the sand just a little bit by like the quarry cats and stuff down there just like playing around. So you can gently like go like that and pick up a few sand stuff. And that'll that'll get kick up the debris from underneath. You know, you can also like close your siphon on and off sometimes. If you kick up too much sand, you can close the siphon and it'll fall out. And then you can open back open it back up. For the most part, you just go brush the top layer of the sand like this. And you'll clean up majority of the poop and stuff that you have in your tank. Alright, so you can also do like, I saw this on someone's video, just like brush around the sand to like break open air pockets and stuff in the sand because you don't want that. And then after that, just nice and level it out and you're good to go. And then you just put the decorations back in and fill her up. Alright folks, as you can tell by the Christmas lights, it's Christmas time so... I got my Christmas decorations. I'm gonna put these in this tank. Let's go. All right guys, so that is how you clean a sand substrate. See, it's not as difficult as you may think. It's just you have to be careful with like pushing it in the sand so you don't like suck up all your sand. That's really the only difference between gravel and sand and how to clean it. And well, if you guys wanna watch me go get new fish, you're welcome to stay. If not, then you can make go off this video. Beautiful Christmas decorations. Now they are festive fish. Don't worry, Corey. I'm gonna get you some friends right now. And Marty, man, I'm sorry, bro. You're just a bully, man. I don't... Just don't harass the fish and you can stay. That's all I ask. Now the hard part. Just netting him. <laughs> all right. I don't even know if I'll be able to get him. You wanna get him? He's gonna be a hard one to get because obviously bottom feeders are harder. Plecos are the hardest to get. Oh. oh no. I got him, but I got a bunch of sand. Scale fall through. Uh oh. It's all right. Thermometer. <laughs> <laughs> Double. Okay, we got him. Now, time to put him in here. There you go. Boom. So easy. He is not having it. Sorry, bud, but. Warmer. We I know we raised Ew. you from since you were a kid, but you're being mean, so you gotta go. You gotta clean up the tank though; it's kind of got dis dismantled. All right, say the last goodbyes to Marty. Sad day. I don't want to get rid of him because we've had him since he was like literally a baby. But again, he's causing disruption in the tank, so he's gotta go. So see you later, Marty. I'm gonna go bring him in the store now. All right, so guys, we are at PetSmart, and unfortunately, can't vlog in there because they don't let you vlog in PetSmart for some reason. But we're gonna pick up two more peppered Cory catfish. So I'll catch some you guys. Some girls doing TikTok and dances over there. Doing TikTok dances? <laughs> well, I'm vlogging because I'm more cool, but I also do TikTok. But not you guys should follow me at TikTok if you haven't already. Bass Rose underscore YT. Although I don't dance, I do fish stuff as well. But anyways, go to PetSmart. <laughs> well, guys, uh, we we came for Cory catfish and came out with. In oak, I don't even know how to say it, and a snail. <laughs> they didn't have any pepper cory catfish. Although I did check, I looked on the website, it said only a few left, so I guess someone came in and got the rest of them. We'll, we'll get pepper cory catfish, we'll get him a friend at another date, but right now we'll come back and see if there's more. But we have these other two fish. I'll show you a better look at home because the sun's pretty bright, so it's kind of hard to see them, anyways. But. Well, we're gonna let these guys uh, 
acclimate in here for like 20 minutes and then we'll put him in the tank. You guys get a far look at him. And then we got a snail. So we'll catch you guys in like 20 minutes. Oh yeah, and I got another little Christmas tree for baby tank. Oh, oh yeah, you guys don't know. Uh, Squirt, he died a while ago. So one of the baby fish died. So rip. But we still have baby cobes. Boom. So festive. Now he has a Christmas tree too. Are you happy? You probably don't care. But you have one. And there goes the snail. <laughs> oh, he's already on the glass. He's doing his job. And there's the snail. There we go. Hopefully the snail will come out in a little bit. Probably not. But he's so small. That's good. Corey, where are you? Dude, I'm sorry. Didn't have a friend for you. But maybe, maybe another time. <laughs> Alright folks, so we ended up going to PetSmart, a different PetSmart, later in the night. Because it said they had them there. And then we went there and they didn't have them. So we ended up getting another snail. <laughs> so we cannot find two more pepper cory catfish. But next time I'm going to wait until it says like, instead of only a few left, I'm going to wait until it says I actually in stock. And then I'm going to call them before and be like, do you actually have them? So hopefully I can end up getting them eventually. I'm just going to keep checking every day to see if they're back in stock. But I don't know. I feel bad. But at least we came home with a few snails and whatever the heck the other thing's called. I don't, I can't even pronounce it, but... If you guys want to see more fish tank vlogs, you know what to do. Be sure to leave a fat thumbs up. And as always, stay tuned. Till next time on Bass Bros.